Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Venus. Today we're going to be talking about Tesla. I have been owning a Tesla for the past three years and also I've been working in tech for the past eight years with a finance background. So I want to give you a perspective on Tesla stock. Uh, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So first of all, let's look at Tesla's valuation. So I built a DCF model and I will not go over the line by line calculation, which I've done in the NVIDIA video, which I will link it here and also have a description box link there down below. Feel free to check it out the full walkthrough of how to build a DCF model. But here I'm going to walk you through my key assumptions here, which are most important to the implied share price. So the first thing is the growth of the revenue. So for the next year, the guidance that Tesla has been given is around 20 to 25 percent. So I'm taking a 25 percent for the assumption. And for the remainder years, I've been remaining very, very conservative, just as saying a 10 percent growth. That's a very conservative number. And that brings us to the implied share price for Tesla as $162, as you can see here. So that's a very conservative assumption. And gross margin wise, I made assumption for it to remain a 25%. Tesla has done a great job in the past year by cutting down their cost of goods sold, basically how much they cost to build each Tesla by less by 10% since the last year. And from the last earning call, Elon and their CFO has been very positive about further cutting down the cost. So I think Tesla has been very, very good in terms of managing its gross margin. So I'll give them 25%. So that brings us to the implied share price at $162. So the question remains to be, is this too high or too low? I will give you an answer by saying that I have been buying Tesla recently around the $170, $180 price. I believe that's a very fair price around this range for its valuation as a automotive maker. However, Tesla is not purely just a um, automotive maker and Tesla Elon has been stressing that so, so many times across different channels and they want people to think about Tesla as a tech company and which I totally 100% believe in. So now let's take a look at the high case. So let's take an assumption of 20. 5% for the next year, which is a very fair assumption because they do believe that for the next major growth for the revenue, it has to be the launch of their lower cost vehicle, which will be coming out not in this year, um, but later down the road. So we will start to see the revenue growth for the years and down the road and Cybertruck production will start ramping up even further. So we'll, we'll also be able to see that percentage of the growth. Um, but Outside of its automotive business, what I'm mostly interested in are a couple other things that Tesla has been branching out to. So let's talk about Dojo for a second. Given all the hype around AI and, and Dojo supercomputer is one of the things that Tesla has been building on its own. It's basically the chips that they're using for their inference and training. And when you think about Tesla, really is a, a computer that put on a four wheel and that's what they have been describing it, which is true. And they have been collecting a lot of data that's from the driving, from all the Tesla fleets and also using those data for training. They need a huge compute power. And apparently Nvidia's chips has been super expensive. We all know that one H100 NVIDIA chip is going to cost you one Tesla Model 3, $40,000. So to reduce that training um, cost, and Tesla has been investing in their Dojo supercomputer in the past few years. And this might evolve into one of another business branch for Tesla, just like how Amazon initially stumbled into cloud computing and later to running out their extra capacity and later growing up into a massive business. And same goes as Microsoft. And for Tesla, Dojo can make a very similar case and similar things has been done in the market. So I'm I think Dojo is one of the things that in the future will keep continue to drive for both the cost reduction and potentially its future top line as well. And next, uh, obviously, is Tesla's FSD release as V12, which is a huge release. And I have never actually tried it. 
Um, but for the people who tried the experience with the V12 has been saying that that's very revolutionizing. So imagine that Tesla starts to license the FSD technology to other automotive companies, and that will become a huge revenue source. Right now, it's nowhere near reflecting anywhere in the future financial projection. So I think that can serve as another growth engine for future Tesla's revenue. And also Robotaxi is another vision Tesla has been planning for many, many years now. And it all be basically dependent on the FSD technology and also the regulation. But Robotaxi is definitely one of the things I think in the future down the road will start to come up. And next, one of the most interesting part of Tesla, which I believe right now is Optimus, and it will be a huge market if Tesla will be able to successfully launch it, which I actually don't have a lot of doubt because given how strong the manufacturing capability Tesla has been proven and how they are able to not only ramping up something that has been never built before, but also being able to build up the tooling the way they're the way they're scaling their manufacturing supply chain. It's very, very impressive. I used to work in supply chain. I understand the complexity and how difficult it is to set up completely brand new supply chain with completely new tooling and equipment, things that's never been built before. And the speed and the capability Tesla is being able to bring to the market is has never seen before. And I believe in this market, if anyone can build a human like a robot and being able to ramp up that production, that will be Tesla. And this is a huge market that being able to take on some very basic housework and after a certain training, and even they can do some more specialized tasks is a huge market there. And again, this is not reflected anywhere in the financial statements. So going back on the higher end of the valuation, so 35% and 25% for the next couple years of growth, if any of the above opportunities I just mentioned starts to showing up in their top line revenue growth, I think that will bump up the stock price by a lot. Uh, let's take a look at Tesla stock history. And that has been how Tesla stock has been growing. So look at back in 2019, the stock was at $19 and grow to 29 by 53% because Tesla's revenue grew by 30%. And for the next year, Tesla's revenue went up by 70%, but their stock price went up by like 700%, which is pretty crazy. So I think when the investor and Wall Street start to see the opportunities for FSD, for its robotics, for its AI, for its dojo chips, I think those will be a huge driver to send Tesla stock price to a new high. Um, but again, I maybe I'm biased and maybe I'm optimistic and the risk apparently is none of those projects are actually realized and Tesla remains to be an automotive company, which actually there's not a lot of interesting growth perspective for an automotive company. We have been all seeing that. So now let's take a quick look at its multiples. So here is Tesla stock multiple. If I just take an average of all the big tax uh, P multiples, and uh, which is 44 and Tesla's P is right now is 41. So it's very, very close. And that was just a bump up a couple bucks for Tesla stock price. Um, and if I use the multiples with other EV competitors, Neo, Lee and XPath, um, which all of them are Chinese automotive companies. But in my opinion, they're, they are fundamentally different from Tesla. Like I just mentioned, everything that Tesla has been doing with its FSD, with its dojo, with its robotics, none of these Chinese companies can possibly replicate. So, and, and not, not to mention those older automotive companies, right? So the TODR here is, if you think about Tesla as a AI-driven tech company, that's worth investing and I think Tesla right now is at a very, very good price point. But if you're investing Tesla as a traditional automotive, it's definitely way over 
valued to use the same P comparison uh, as an automotive company. So it's really your personal judgment how you want to look at Tesla's future. And take a quick look at the Graham's valuation model. Um, if I just use a projected growth rate, let's just use a 20%. So that's actually right around current Tesla's current trading price. So like I said, I believe Tesla right now is trading at a fair price. And on the upside for Tesla, obviously, are the future projects that Tesla currently is working on and waiting for that to be actualized. But the downside is, as an automotive company, if Tesla remains to be an automotive company, the growth potential will be actually pretty limited. So that's everything uh, I wanted to cover for Tesla's stock valuation analysis today. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and check out my NVIDIA valuation model video. And um, in my NVIDIA valuation model, there will be a free DCF model for you to download and feel free to grab a copy before you go. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.